for two minutes. No, leave you alone. zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. Happens, I don't want to hear your voice. You, what, please what stop happened, bless you, but please leave me alone. Stress. Please leave me alone. Please huh? stop throwing me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. About stop stress. stalking me. Please, I can't live here anymore because you stalked me. That's no, why no, I won't. No, no, no. Just talk leave me alone. Well, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, leave you alone. zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't ever want to hear your voice. You, please stop bless you, but please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please huh? stop throwing me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop stress. stalking me. Please, I can't live here anymore because you stalked me. That's no, why no, I won't. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Well, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, leave you alone. zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't ever want to hear your voice. You, what, please what stop happened? bless you, but what please leave me alone. Stress? Please leave me alone. Please huh? stop throwing me. All right, so I'm going to repeat myself a lot today again because we've got some people with Alzheimer's or something. I, I've worked in business all my life politics all my life even in a strip club didn't have to repeat myself like I have to with mr. Perry Charles I'm never gonna call you and mr. Perry thinks if I take everything she has and which she has he did take everything I have then she'll call me then she'll like me nope you know what here's how other guys do things I'll send her flowers when you get the flowers then you call thank you thank you for the flowers you want to go to dinner? Sure. You don't get a woman to like you by robbing her of her entire life. Ruining relationships, blowing up families, invading privacy, crossing boundaries, and breaking the law. You don't have a real love life and everyone makes fun of you because you go around thinking, acting like you think you do. You're a delusional whack job, just like this man right here. I don't care what she wants. I'm going to force myself on her like a rapist. I moved twice, sir, to get away from you. You are a drama. Everybody's sick of a Charles Perry drama. Look at the facts here. You're complaining that we're quoting you guys in your little meetings where you plan some sort of crime against me. We're establishing Maine's ray and premeditation. You gave us that. It's so easy, it's not even fair. Everybody's sick of you. Everybody's sick of you, David. Everybody's sick of all of you who sit around in your little meetings and plan some sort of harm and bother and bother and bother and bother and rape and ruin and kill and rob and steal and destroy. And we have no problem getting inside information on your criminal activity like you've not seen before in your lives and it's been that way for years you either get that or you don't are you mentally retarded all of you every fucking day we get something else yesterday we hear you talking to my car guy just act like nothing's wrong here's what we're gonna do because every day you piss everybody off with the suffering and the hardship and the inhumane, disgusting treatment of women and children. That's what opened up our case to begin with. That's what opened it to de deprivation of basic human rights and needs. I was talking to a pastor. I've talked to a couple of pastors over the past couple of months. And one of them said to me, He's depriving you of your basic rights and needs. You need a place to live. You think? He's not Don Juan. Wine and dine. Smooge the ladies. You're beating women down because you're pathetic. And for whatever fucked up reason in your head, you feel tough guy when you do that. You are sick. You're sick and you're twisted. Mr. Perry. You're not hot, you are not sexy, you're not cute, you disgust everybody. We have no problem getting information, you do, because of it. Now you either got, you guys either get that or you're stupid and you're slow. We've said this over and over, it is, it is intolerated in the United States. We live in a civilized society, you're deviant. You're making everybody very angry at you. Very angry. We have no problem getting information from right inside your camp. 
every day. And no one will tell you who, what, when, how we do that. Will they? You have leaks we don't. It's been that way every day for like a decade. It doesn't get any slower than y'all. I'm never going to call you, Charles. I'm not going to call you, whack job. I, I can't stand you. No one can. We can get information from inside your organization and you can't get shit because of everybody sick of this. Sick of it. When you break the law, you're doing something everyone decided was not going to be tolerated in a civilized society and it was offensive. And so they made it illegal, you go to jail. So if you do things people don't like, they're not going to like you. They're not going to help you. Charles, shut up. Why do you think I care what you think? Why the fuck do you think that? I don't care. We're sick of hearing it. Everybody's sick of hearing it. You need a lie. You want this. You want a rape. You need a lie. I said no. I said no every day for a decade. Fuck off. Stop doing illegal things you need covered up. The more you try to cover it up, when you do it to me, the more it's uncovered. You dumb fuck. Look at your results. We can get information you can't. You don't, you have leaks we don't. Every day for a decade, David, you're, you're slow, dude. It takes you a decade to figure out cause and effect, same and different before and after, David. We thought you were the smart one. What is wrong with you? Geppetto, fuck off, man. Fuck off. How do I even know your name? You got, you know, we can get information because people are sick and tired of y'all. And you can't. No one wants to help you continue doing this. So nobody's telling you shit. How many people have said to you, I have no idea what you're talking about. Never heard of it. How many of those people are lying and how many are telling the truth? You don't know. You'll never know until it's too fucking late. What day are they going to bang your door down, princess, prissy pants, cuckoo bird, and put you in jail and we are done. We don't have to deal with you anymore. I moved twice. All you had to do is leave me the fuck alone. Your activity is criminal. We got right inside. Never happened before, has it? Winnie pesters her and takes her money. Things don't go well for us. We're seeing things happen we've not seen before, your guy said. I think right now, we need to find out who these people are. Right now, they might just be flicking at us. What day will they stand up and crush us? And I don't want to be anywhere near Charles Perry when that happens. Your guy said that. Your guy said that. How slow can you be, David? Cause and effect. Cause and effect, David. Don't complain. You asked for it. I came here to get away from conflict and Princess Cuckoo Bird over here. I came here to rebuild my life and not have a fight and not be a scandal. And you picked the fight with me every time you caused me one penny, one, ten, one minute, one day of my privacy, one minute of my time, like right now, and one penny of my money. And you pissed everybody off. Your conduct is illegal. It's outside social norms. It is not tolerated in a civilized society. We can get information you can't. You make everybody sick at their stomach. All of you. All of you. Rape, Charles. Rape. It doesn't go both ways, princess. Does it? You've known that for a long time. People make fun of you. That guy's delusional. If I'm ever delusional like Charles Perry, shoot me. Looks like a fucking idiot. Baffoon. Going around telling people that's his girlfriend. C come on with that. You don't treat your girlfriend like that, first of all. Second of all, she doesn't like you. I don't like you. Because you're a monster. You're a job. Nobody's done more to catch your crime than me and the guys helping me. They got people inside your camp because everybody's sick of you. Everybody's sick of you people. Normal people don't like suffering and hardship and cruelty. 
You go to jail if you're cruel to an animal. Dogs have it better. Dogs have it better. I told you, Charles, what I look for in a man that I would fall in love with. You do the opposite, and you do it on purpose. So fuck you, you're not, you know, this thing where, oh, this is about a date. Nope, nobody believes that anymore, because you act like it's not. You act like it's just you get some sick, weird thrill causing people problems. And it is so important to you that you're get, even though you're getting caught, you're still doing it. It's more important to you than even a cover-up. Listen, you're not keeping up with everybody else mentally. You're not. You're way the fuck behind. Way the fuck behind. We can get information and you can't. You're way the fuck behind. It is fucking embarrassing me. It is so embarrassing to me. You don't act like this and think you're gonna get a date. Don't call the cops. Stop! I don't stop stop stopping me! Please, I can't live here anymore because you stopped me. That's no, why I'm no, no. Just leave me alone. Uh, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No! Leave me alone. Zero minutes! I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't ever want to hear your voice to you. Please, God bless you. But please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please stop following me. You won't call the cops. Stop! I don't. Stop stopping me! Please, I can't live here anymore because you stopped me. That's why I'm leaving. Leave me alone. I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No. Zero minutes. I don't what? want to ever talk to you. What I don't want to hear your voice. Oh, that's okay. In a civilized society where people are normal and kind and respectful of each other's wishes and rights and the law. David, the law. You're breaking it. You're getting told on like never before too. What does that mean to you? What does it mean that it's different when you do it to me? What, answer the question, David, Charles, what does it mean that it's different when you do it to me? We get the information beforehand to prove, Mains Ray, you intended to commit a crime. You knew it was gonna cause an injury, you knew it was illegal, you did it anyway. And many times you knew we had the information before you did it to prove all that. We got it, one time, all we need is one time, David. We thought you were the smart one. You're not acting like you're the smart one. This is how everybody else sees you. Everybody's sick of y'all. We can get information and you can't. Leave me alone. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Hey man, leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even when they're not, Unless woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay? It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. Oh, that's okay, I don't- And that's why we can get information and you can't. We don't have leaks, you do. That's why. Everybody else is sick of this. Sick of it. Sick of you. Sick of your lie. I need a lie. I need a lie. Fuck you. No one cares. We're tired of hearing it. Shut up and get away from me. You can't get information, we can. You have leaks, we don't. Look at your results. It doesn't get any more slow than you. How embarrassing. You embarrass me. You're stupid. Pick up on the social cues, Stop dumbass. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. Doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk. You should talk the same way wherever you are. 
We all know that rape is not about sex, it's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting. Dude. Your conduct is disgusting, so we can get information and you can't. We're getting it from right inside your camp. David, how slow can you be? It's been that way for seven years. The McNamara email was not the first. It was just the first I was allowed to put out. And sometimes you, go, you, you fucktards do it anyway. It's so easy, it's not even fair. What day are they going to bang your door down? You go to jail and we're done. Charles, you're not getting a lie. I said no. No means no. You're not going to get a date. I said no. No means no. If you wanted a date with me, I wouldn't be sleeping in my car, would I? It's not even about that for you. Is it? Stop bullshitting. Stop bullshitting. We can get information and you can't because everybody's sick of you. All of you. All of you. All right? So this is how everybody else sees you. Why the fuck does she have to say the same thing over and over and over and over? Leave me alone. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh my god. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What? Are you a prostitute? Are you a prostitute? Are you a prostitute? Are you a prostitute? Sir, please leave me that's okay, I don't care. Leave you me alone. All you want. I don't want proof of this. Please yeah, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh my god. Okay. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What, 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 are you a prostitute? I'm serious. What, Sir, what, please what, leave. What, that's okay, I don't care. Leave. Irritating, isn't it? He's irritating. Bothering and bothering and bothering just like you Charles Just like you David Geppetto Calvin These are the these are the people's names. I know that I you know, I've never met them that I know of they can they keep coming up in chatter Right Calvin Blankenship Desiree Muffin man Who are those people to you Charles? Who's Monique to you? Huh? Inside your criminal organization, we can get information like that. You told, you told my car. I'm not quoting my car guy, by the way. I'm quoting you. We're going to do something. Just act like everything's normal. Just act like everything's okay. All right? So, all of that, these guys have all that. Everything you told them. Every fucking thing you told them. And it's that way every day for a decade how slow are you? When you do this shit to me, it's different. Why is that? Explain that. Why is it different when you do it to me and it's the same every time you do it? Every day. We get it before, not after. Mr. Perry, they think you're mentally retarded severely because you can't identify your legislative duties. You can't. Why do you think you matter politically? Why the fuck do you think that? Why do you think I care what you think? Why the fuck do you think that? No one understands why in the hell you think that. Doesn't even make sense. You are off your nut for thinking that. People make fun of you. That guy's whack job. Everyone can see that's not it. Everyone can see that's not the case, whatever he just said. You're not powerful. You're in one of the smallest districts in one state. 86% Republican. You'd be more, you'd matter more if it was a 50 50 district. Because then it could be flipped and you would then be a target of a flip. But you're not. Nobody can win in your district unless you're far right wing Republican. The district is 86%. That. You don't fucking matter. It's a very small district. Even you said Lubbock struggled to have a voice in Austin. You said that because it's a small district and it can't be flipped. Once it can be flipped, now you matter. Now the Democrats are going to come over there and try to win an election. But right now they know they can't. They don't give a fuck. You're not worth the time. You're not worth the resources. You're not worth shit. You don't matter. You know who matters though? Me. What I'm going through. Mike Neely, what he's going through, what you're putting us through. So because of that, we can get information 
from inside your criminal organization like you've not seen before. Your guy said we've never had one of our victims of our sex exploitation online peep show. Your worldwide deep dark web, you know, where you put cameras in women's homes. They don't know it and broadcast us all over the internet, all over the world. In the privacy of our home. We've never had one figure out we were doing that. We've never had one figure out we were causing the problems. We've never had one <coughs> send us an invoice. You weren't smart enough to get a contract first. So, but you're gonna, you've been billed. You don't get to use my body for free, freeloader. You're like welfare, right? I'm entitled. Everybody owes me. I'm pathetic. Can't make money, right? The, right, the normal way, you got ill-gotten gains. Charles, shut up. Shut up. Look at what's happening. When are they going to bang your door down and arrest you? What day? Who's going to do it? You've made a lot of phone calls. Nobody's telling you anything. Everybody's sick of what you're putting me through. I'm going to starve her into a lie. And I'm like, I told you so. I did say. I told you so. I did say. It is illegal. There's a reason you're getting told on, you little fucktard. There's a reason you're getting told on, fucktard. I have to repeat it again. Charles, you're getting told on because you're pissing people off. That's what you're married to. You're married to pissing people off. You got a sick, twisted mind. Everybody's tired of dealing with it. What did you win? What do you think you won? You're getting quoted every fucking day. So what did you win? What are you getting away with if I'm quoting you every fucking day for seven years? Starting with the McNamara email is what you know about. You don't know the half of what they have. I don't have time to sit down and type it all up. I type up the most crucial and that's it. There's a whole lot more than that. All of you. Who's Blankenship? Who's Desiree? Who's Calvin? Who's Geppetto? Who's the Muffin Man? Who's Monique to you, Charles? Who are those people to you? I've never met them. How do I have that information? You think you're getting away with something? Again, delusional. People make fun of you. You're not operating in reality. You look like a buffoon. You don't have a date. No woman is trying to sit on your lap or hold your hand. You're getting told on and told on and ratted out and told on and ratted out. Who are they telling? How does that information get from me to you? I'm from you to me, I mean. We don't have leaks, you do. Fucked hard. Listen to what I'm saying. You have leaks, we don't. I can get information you can't. I get information from right inside your camp, like nobody's done before. We've never had one figure out they had ca we had cameras on them or we are causing their problems intentionally, criminally. Send us an invoice, sue us, solve a murder we, saw, we committed to cover all that up. I've solved more than one. I've solved more than fucking one. Why is it different, Charlene Petunia, when you do it to me? Huh? Why is it different when you do it to me? Answer the question. What does that mean? You don't know, do you? You are mentally retarded and you have no fucking idea what that means, do you? You don't even know what I'm saying. You can tell by your reactions. You have no idea what's happening. You have no idea what I even, what I even just said. Not a clue. It's very irritating for everybody else to have to deal with. Very irritating. You need to be in a nursing home. Leave me alone. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh, God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What, what, are you like a prostitute? I'm serious. Sir, please leave. That's okay. I don't. Didn't ask him what he thought, did they? Nope. Didn't ask you either. You keep trying to talk to me like you think I care what you think. I really don't care. I'm sick of hearing it. We all are. We can get information, and you can't. We don't have leaks, you do. Nobody will tell you a fucking thing. That's the feedback, dumb fuck. Everybody's sick of you. You're pissing everybody off, and that is your wife. That is who you're married to. You're doing it even though you're getting caught every day. Wow. It's so easy, it's not even fair. This guy is that stupid and that addicted to just sitting around pissing people off all day. 
You don't have a real love life. You don't have a date. No woman's trying to get to see you. You're getting kicked off and bit and hit, metaphorically. Uh, Charles, I know you're stupid. You won't know. I'll have to say, that's a metaphor. That's a metaphor. He didn't know. He's like severely mentally retarded or shrink thinks. Alright, so I have... I feel I filmed this last night for like 30 minutes. No orders. I got like three that were upside down. Or, or I don't take anything less than 650. And it has to be a dollar fifty a mile. So yesterday went pretty well. I got I did okay. And then at night, I guess it, when they decide I've made enough money, oh she's made enough. We won't let her make any more. Then I get these. But then guess what? We quote you. So you're paying for it with information. Every time you cost me one penny or one minute of my time, or every day my privacy is invaded, every day you impose hardships on me and suffering, and every day Mike Neely's in jail, we get more information. You're paying for it with information. What? Here's the thing, though. What are we going to do with that information, Mr. Perry? David, what are we going to do with that information? Muffin Man, Geppetto, Blanket Chip, Desiree, what are we going to do with that information? You can talk to your attorney about that. I'm not going to help you. I'm not a special ed teacher. I don't have puppets, crayons, and finger paints for you. I don't know how to relate to somebody like you. That's not my er area of expertise. You know what? It's my area of expertise solving a murder you committed to cover all this up. You guys wanted to go global. Boy, howdy did ya. Boy, howdy did ya. Inhumane. Inhumane treatment of women and children for decades. But it was different when you did it to me. It's not covered up now. What are you think you win? You, what is it you think you won? If you won something in court, I've not been in court. I've not been in court to put you on the stand, princess. Believe me, that's what I want. I would love nothing better than to put Princess Cuckoo Bird on the stand. You know, I got an A in criminal law recently. Um, the, there was a there was a um a, an assignment. Here's the scenario. Argue the prosecution or argue the defense. The defense was, uh, the guy's insane. So he may get the, uh, insanity pass. <coughs> and I sure lucked that bitch and showed how, nope, he's not insane. Here's why. I got an A in that class. I got an A in that class, and that's all I'm gonna say. It's already been put out. Princess Cuckoo Bird. So I would love to put you on the stand. If I can, if I can go six years in a strip club and get things like a recording of Pinto offering me $5,000 for sex? That's prostitution. Why aren't you in jail now for that, Mr. Kuntzwiller? They obstructed justice. I lost all my evidence. Everybody watches CSI Las Vegas, you know, you got to collect the evidence. And you didn't do that on my first false arrest that's detailed in the McNamara email months before. We got you on Maine's Ray and Premeditation. It's gender discrimination. You heard of the Me Too movement, Mr. Kuntzwiller? You heard of that? It pisses people off when you do shit like that. Right? Alright, so we can get inside information and you can't, Charles. It's called social feedback, dumbass. You're mentally retarded, aren't you? I don't, I'm not a special ed teacher. I can't help you. I don't even want to. But what I'd, lo I'd like to do, I sued you three times to get you on the stand. And you knew that. So go ahead and tell everybody how you won. Right? Six years in a, stri in a strip club. I get Mickey James texting me th threats. I get Dave Robertson texting me threats. I get Bento offering, soliciting prostitution. And y'all got nothing. Not one fucking thing out of me, did ya? Yep, I'm really good at what I do and you don't like that. So you fuckers sit around and try to figure out how to make me fail. It is funny as fuck. It is funny as fuck. You are that pathetic. It is funny as fuck. I don't even have words for that. Thank you for the compliment. I'm Chief Hall's granddaughter. Nice to meet you, criminal. You're seeing things happen you've not seen before. Nothing could make me happier. That you have attacked me like this. Starve her into a lie. What am I supposed to lie about? You want to starve me into a lie. Princess Cuckoo Bird, tell me that to my face. Tell me that to my face, coward. You're sitting behind a... You're a pussy. Get on the stand and let's question you. You want to starve me into a lie. It's been said. Over and over and over. I got another I told you so. What do you think you're trying to prove here? You're trying to prove me? You're proving me out. 
You've proven me out. You went into court and lied three times. Who's going to arrest you and win? You don't know. Nobody will tell you. How do I have those names? Calvin, Blankenship, Desiree, Muffin Man, Geppetto. How do I have those names, Charles? Monique. How do I have those names, Charles? Who got that information to me? From you. Why is it different when you do it to me? Answer the question. Mr. Perry, why is it different when you do it to me? What day are they going to arrest you and who's going to do it? Huh? Answer those questions, Mr. Perry. Or shut up with your threats. He's threatening me again all day. I'm going to starve you into a lie. You're not making any more money. You're not making any more money. I'm going to starve you into a lie. And so I can go, well, I told you so. I did tell everybody he was doing that. He made that specific threat. So then what am I supposed to lie about? Yeah, see, this is how mentally retarded. Everybody laughs at this. What the? What in the fuck? What in the hell? Am I supposed to lie about the fact that I knew Mike Neely was drugged? Or that it was confirmed two, three, four months later? Which lie? What, what am I supposed to lie about? See, you don't even make sense. You say all this shit, it doesn't even make sense. You're just bizarre. You're just whack job. It's like you can't even think. I mean, you don't, you, do you hear yourself? I'm going to starve her into a lie. And he is trying to starve me into a lie. So then I'm like, well, I did say. I did. Told, I told you so. He did exactly what the recording says. He's proven me out. So what am I supposed to lie about? He keeps doing what exactly what I say. We have it before, not after. See, you're fucktard. You can't identify your legislative duties. You can't identify what state you legislate in. You can't identify same and different. You can't identify before and after. It's different when you do it to me, but it's the same every time. We always have it before, not after. How is that? Why is that? And you don't know. You can't answer that. You don't know. You don't even understand what I just said, do you? You got Huntington's disease? You can tell. You can tell you got it. It gives you delusion and paranoia. Do all of you have it? All of you guys have that? See, if you weren't doing exactly what I say you're doing, you wouldn't be so desperate and so pathetic that you want to starve me into a lie. Let's make her leave Oklahoma. What do you think that's going to do? Then I go, well, I told you so. I did say that's what they were trying to do. What day is it, David? They're going to bang down your door and you go to jail. And they take everything you guys have, sell it, and the victims get it. It's called restorative justice, restitution. You, I mean, how much do you, do you want to pay? Every day Mike's in jail, every day you invade my privacy, every penny I lose, every minute of my time you take, we get more. You're paying for it now. In information. We get information nobody else has gotten. Right? Right inside your camp. Look at all that. All of that. You called my car guy. I'm not quoting my car guy, I'm quoting you. You got wiretap orders, you got leaks, you got all kinds of shit. So, don't complain when we quote you. You asked for it. You know that's what's going to happen when you cause me a problem. And you do it anyway. So what am I supposed to lie about, princess, cuckoo bird? You know, here's the thing. How many times were you told on before you did it to me? And how many times after? Can you still count? You're an accountant. Can you still count? We think you can. If you want to crochet... You have to be able to count, dumbass. That's what would do if you crocheted. You wouldn't need a lie then, would you? Genius. Oh my god, you embarrassed me with the stupid. I've never seen anything. It's so easy. Look at that. The guys that got me that in jail, it's not somebody else's name. It's Fabian's name. And it's not just on the same page as the word hope. It's intersecting. You're the butt in. You're the selfish little butt in. The word me causing fear and sadness and they got that to me in jail and all the stuff that we get it's not up to you it's not up to you who's it up to who's making those decisions yeah when you can tell me all that Charles I'm not gonna help you Charles I want for you to be gone I'll never be broke again I'll have my privacy back I can date whoever the fuck I want without you threatening everybody I can see my family whenever I want without you threatening everybody you cause a lot of conflict in my family. We are not happy about it. I'm talking about we when I say we, me, and these guys that got me that puzzle. So I don't want to help you. I want for you to be gone. I'm helping the guys help making you be gone. Catching your crime. Like nobody's done in your life. 
and it's never up to you. So when you fuck with me and then I quote you, you know that's what's going to happen. And I don't even say all that I know. I don't say it. I don't have time to type it all up. I'm busy. I have a life. You need to get one. You're lazy. You're fat. You're pervert. You're strange You're stupid. And we're all tired of dealing with all of it. All of it. All of you. We don't have problems getting information. You do. We don't have leaks. You do. It's been that way for years. Years and years and years and years and years and years. Oh my. I mean, forever and ever and ever and ever. Right? We got that. So when you do it, and I'm like, well, I told you so. What is it? And he's, I'm supposed to lie about it. He keeps doing exactly what I say. That's how fucked hard you are. So embarrassing to me. So fucking embarrassing to me, Mr. Perry. Yeah, I would walk in a room with you for millions. Your ill-gotten gains. I'm rich. I made you broke. Call me. Yep, nope. I don't think so. Hold your breath. Go out to the Nevada desert. Hold your breath and I'll be right there to meet you, okay? Princess whack job. Listen, don't, you know, don't complain uh, when we... Uh, when you get caught. Everybody's, st you're getting caught because everybody's sick of this. And you're fucktards if you don't know that. You ought to know that by now. Seriously, you ought to know that. You're paying for it now. We get information. So when you do what I say, I, what is there to lie about? What the fuck is there to lie about, dumbass? You're just proving me out. It's so easy, it is not even fair. Everybody else sees you as the dis disgusting, all of you. I don't want to pray for this. Please leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way, okay? It's not clever, it's not cool, it's not cute. It's garbage, it's absolute garbage behavior, and you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. Now. It is illegal to stalk. It is illegal to peep. It is illegal to exploit. It is illegal to coerce. It is illegal to witness tamper. It is illegal to hack. And it is illegal to clone someone's phone. All right? So, I'm doing the disclaimer. Use allegedly. Nobody's been found guilty in court yet, Mark. But believe me, your, your client's making it very easy for that to happen. If Mr. Consuelo doesn't want to do it, what is it that you think, I mean... He's not gay. He didn't give me the McNamara email, did he? He didn't tell me about your conversation yesterday about my car guy. He didn't. He's not doing that. Somebody else is. Does it matter? I don't think it really does. It might would have sped things along a little, but at the end of the day, it isn't going to matter. Uh, he's not giving me the, the information. Someone else is. This started long before I came here. Mr. Perry, you are an assignment. Now, I'm assigned to Oklahoma. Did you want to obstruct justice again? By you know, committing grand larceny with intent to coerce, interference with contracts and commerce with intent to coerce. Did you want to do that again? To me? You're paying for it with information already. So you pay for it every time you fuck with me. Calvin, Blankenship, Desiree, whoever you people are. I don't even know who you people are. Your name comes up in chatter. Muffin Man? Who's the fucking Muffin Man? Who is that to you, Charles? Who's Geppetto to you, Charles? Who's Monique to you, Charles? I would love to put you on the stand. When, you, when, you, when, I am, when I've got you on the stand, sir, then, and only then, can you claim you won. You can play Candyland against yourself and win all day. You beat you. You didn't have an opponent, fucktard. Apply the but for legal standard, the reasonable prudent individual standard, and we assert all constitutional rights, including the right to call you a fucktard if we so see fit. 
all right? Stop whining. Take your skirt off and act like a man, a grown man your age. Do you feel pretty in that dress you wear? Playing with your doll. See, yeah, I mean, a one-year-old little girl can put a dress on and go watch Frozen and play with a doll and pretend that's her life. A one-year-old little girl can do what you do all damn day. You're not hot. You're not sexy. You repulse everybody. And we can get information because of it. And you can't. You have leaks because of it. And we don't. And it's the same thing every day. And I'm having to repeat myself again. Wow. One time everybody else gets it. Why can't you? Let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. Doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk. You should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex. It's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting. Dude. Leave me alone. And because that's how everybody else feel, feels about all this, that you're inhumane, that your deprivation of the basic human rights and needs of women and children is making people sick at their stomach. We don't tolerate that in America. We live in a civilized society. You don't. You're not civilized. You're deviants. Do you feel pretty in your dress, Charles? Well, you act like a little girl. I don't date women. I'm not into women. I'm not a lesbian. Go find yourself a lesbian. I'm not, that's just not my thing. There's nothing wrong with lesbians, but I'm not one. You clearly need one. Uh, you want to act like a girl? You know, trans over. There's, this day and age, you can be a trans. It's, look at all the attention Caitlyn uh, Jenner got when she transed over. You want attention? Go trans over. And stop bothering everybody else with your sex frustration. You know, you got problems with your, you know, dysfunctions or whatever. And you want to blame child molestation, child abuse. Fuck you. A lot of people were abused as kids. They don't do what you're doing. They don't ruin people's lives and kill and starve women and children and, and think that's going to, you know, well, I, get a, I should get a pass because my, you know, way back when, and I have plenty of money to pay a shrink. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ruin lives instead. Yep. In a civilized society, we still don't tolerate it. Child abused or not. Child abused or not. We're seeking the death penalty, sir. I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you. Understood? You need to wake up and realize what you're dealing with. You always forget who it is you're talking to. Look what I've done with what you've done to me. People don't like suffering. They don't like hardship. They don't like, uh, you know, problems, drama, or those who cause it. All right. That's that. That's the way it is. I'm sorry you don't like that. You don't fit in, do you? You don't fit in, do you? Yep. They don't like bullies. And they don't like this. Hello? Please! Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. Doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk. You should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is...
So, did everybody see the Netflix special called Unbelievable? It's the true life story of uh, a woman who was raped. She was uh, clearly traumatized and was having a difficult time expressing what happened. I think that even during part of the rape, she was not conscious. So, uh, they, the, 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 the cops then charged her with false reporting. They didn't investigate shit. They got... He got, uh, she got charged with false reporting. Then the guy reoffends and he goes somewhere else. And those cops got his ass. And guess what they found when they got the evidence? They found evidence that she was indeed raped. And so now you have a whole fucking movie showing how stupid, inept cops failed society. Because now you got more victims. They, these guys can't stop. They have no control. Mark O'Leary, that rapist... That, is, that movie's about, said it. I couldn't control myself. So, you know, the best you can do in law enforcement is what? That's for you to define. But I'm Chief Hall's granddaughter. You're seeing things happen you've not seen before. It's different when you do it to me, but it's the same every time you do it. You are paying now. We get information from right inside your camp, and you can't get shit. You have leaks, and we don't. Your conduct is not tolerated in civilized society. That's why we get information. That's why we get it. Right there. It's not okay. It's not tolerated. You're paying for it already. So what day is it they're going to bang your door down? They've wrapped everything up. They got everything they want to get. They want to make sure there's no nothing overturned on appeal. And they get all of you. And you're done. You can't hurt anybody anymore. And then we can tell your victims you're safe now. That's what this is about. Nothing else nothing else and when you keep doing what I say and I say it beforehand not after and I'm like well I told you so I did tell what in the fuck retard do you think I'm supposed to lie about are you proving our shrink right are you retarded or are you just a jackass see I can call you retard because we're not sure you are are you gonna admit to being mentally retarded or are you just a jackass which one is it, Charles? Huh? When you ruin people's lives, they're going to want to call you a name or two, and they get to, and you don't get to complain about it. You don't get to complain about it. You ruined a life. You're not the victim. You're the offender. And nobody's going to tell you shit. You need to leave everybody alone. We're all tired of dealing with it. Everybody's sick of y'all. Everybody's sick of y'all. Now... You contact me again, you take one more penny of my money, one more minute of my time, one more minute of my privacy, Mike's in jail. You know what happens when you do that, you pay for it with information, in your little meetings. You know that's what's going to happen and you do it anyways. So we're certain you can live with your choices. We're certain you can live with it. That's okay, I don't... make you feel you're filming my father and my fucking sister how does this make oh, you feel the one that put all those scratches on your arm you want to see the scratches, you want, I'll, I got I'll scratches. Show, i can show you the pictures right now no i want you to leave my family fucking alone keep hanging outside of there dude i promise you they're gonna get yours and you're gonna oh, get well, fuck you can bring whoever the fuck you want that's okay you're gonna bring the whole fucking army i don't give a fuck this make you feel? Huh? You're filming my father and my fucking sister. How does this make oh, you feel? The one that put all those scratches on your arm. You want to see the scratches? You want, I'll, I got scratches. I can show you the pictures right now. No, I want you to leave my family fucking alone. Keep hanging outside of there. Get the road, dude. I promise you, they're gonna get yours and you're gonna get. Well, fuck. You can bring whoever the fuck you want. That's okay. You're gonna you can bring the fucking army. I don't give a. This make you feel?